Hello guys, thanks for watching my video today. We will like to so this one the binomial okay binomial theorem for negative power not even negative power it can also be positive and fraction also okay it can be negative positive or fraction okay so 1 over 1 plus x to the n where this n can be negative positive or fraction also okay which is equal to 1 plus x to the negative n which is sum from k equal to 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k, n plus k minus 1 upon, n, n plus k minus 1 combination k, times x to the k, okay? We are trying to prove this, because this have this is a just for identity, we are going to use everywhere, we can say, right? So proof, 1 over 1 plus x to the n is same as 1 plus x to the negative n, right? using the exponent law now we are going to see the binomial theorem okay since 1 plus x to the n is n combination 0 plus n combination 1 x plus n combinations 2 x squared plus and so on so on plus n combination r x to the r plus and so on plus n combination n x to the n right now what we are doing is here 1 plus x to the n so changing this n combination 0 is 1 right plus and combination 1 is n I think right so using this formula and combination <coughs> r is n factorial by n minus r factorial times r factorial okay so I'm putting that one so you'll get n x plus n n minus 1 upon 2 factorial x squared plus n n minus 1 n minus 2 upon 3 factorial x cubed plus and so on so on plus and n minus 1 and minus 2 and so on up to n minus r plus 1 upon r factorial into x to the r plus and so on okay why this one is this okay why we get this one so i'm going to show here okay now n combination r is n factorial by n minus r factorial times r factorial which is n factorial is nothing but n n minus 1 n minus 2 and so on up to n minus r plus 1 times n minus 1 factorial okay this is factorial another representation for factor okay over n minus r factor times r factor so these two can get cancer then you get n n minus 1 n minus 2 and so on up to n minus r plus 1 upon r factor this is what we are writing here okay now replacing negative n by negative n okay so Replace n by negative n because we are trying to find out this one, right? So, here if you replace or n by negative n, then you get 1 plus x to the negative n is 1 minus n x plus negative n, negative n minus 1 upon 2 factor x square plus negative n, negative n minus 1, negative n minus 2 upon 3 factor x cube plus and so on so on plus plus negative n negative n minus 1 negative n minus 2 and so on up to negative n minus r plus 1 upon r factor x to the r plus and so on right so simplify this 1 plus x to the negative n is equal to 1 minus n x so this one here we can tell this negative sign then with this one we will be positive so n n plus 1 upon 2 factor x square here we can tell this negative common negative common so negative negative positive positive negative negative right so and n plus one and plus two upon three factor x keep plus and so on plus here if you tell this or negative common right so this is r times so it will be negative one to the r and n plus one and plus two and so on up to n plus r plus one upon r factor x to the r plus and so on okay now So continuation of that one now let's try to put in terms of summation so 1 plus x to the negative n is same as 1 over 1 plus x to the n which is the sum from k equal to 0 to infinity here or are negative positive negative right alternate so it will be negative 1 to the k and if you find out all these things okay 1 and n plus 1 and n plus 1 upon 2 factor these things okay the coefficient 
of x, you get n plus k minus 1 upon k. Okay, n plus k minus 1 combination k x to the k, right? So this is what we are trying to prove that one. Okay, so in a similar way for this, if you replace x by negative x, we get 1 over 1 minus x to the n, which is 1 minus x to the negative n, which is the sum from k equal to 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k, n plus k minus 1 combination k, negative x to the k. Here negative can be taking out, sum from k equal to 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k, n plus k minus 1 combination k, negative 1 to the k, x to the k. So which is sum from k equal to 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the, these two are same, so power at 2k, n plus k minus 1 combination k, x to the k. So negative 1 to the, to the 2k sms, negative 1 to the 2k sms, negative 1 to the square times k. So negative 1 square mean in is positive, so 1 to the k. So always 1 to the k is just 1, right? Therefore, 1 over 1 minus x to the n is 1 minus x to the negative n, which is sum from k equal to 0 to infinity, n plus k minus 1 combination k, x to the k. So these two are the required answer for this, okay? This is what we are. This is for negative x and this is for positive x, okay? That's it. And again, you may ask me that why in this, okay, in this binomial theorem, it is up to n times, right? So up to n. But if we change it into this one, negative, so it will be up to infinite times, okay? That one too, you can take the limit, okay? The limit here, if you take the limit, it will be a finite limit, okay? So, that's it.